Hello and welcome back to the county of New Bobton. My name is Badger the British and on this episode what we're going to be doing is, well, we've kind of got a whole death wave going on. You see, if we come over here, we've got like this massive death wave. We've lost about 8,000 people and our supply and demand for buildings has gone rapidly down. And we just checked out this function over here. We're absolutely fine. Our capacity is good. Our storage is good. For that, we just got to ride out this wave and let it even itself out. Now, here's a novel approach to how we're going to solve this. We're going to solve this by bringing in more public transport. Bear with me. Because you see, if you upgrade the public transport here, I reckon there'll be a new wave of people that will want to move in because of the better infrastructure and the better you know, transportation systems around the city. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Starting with our tram network over here that we want to bring. Now we want to make this part tram, part bus, I reckon would be quite cool. Because then everything is like, we've got buses on the other side there and we've got trams that are going to go along here. Mm, yeah, and then just finish off maybe with uh, a bus line at the back. So there we go, boom, boom, boom. That's all in. I quite like that because that means that we can put a little stretch of businesses along here. And let's program in a tram for this area. Because we're going to want it to link up to other like little bits like this. Like in Portugal, there'd be like a stop for pretty much anything along here. So let's go ahead and start our tram stop from here, from this stop and then have it come down through the middle here because we've got to get some more things along this like little highway corridor that holds everything and then we're going to have it loop back on itself in such a way oh hold on hold on it's a very popular area there we go we got it and let's make it start down here pause into our station area and let's loop it up past the church so people can go visit their relatives, which seems to be very popular nowadays. And oh dear, we can't go any further. Right, okay, so we're going to fix that. Yeah, we'll have this connect into the hub here. There you go, and then that will be this little transportation link. Where else is missing? Hold on. There we go. Perfecto. An interesting route for it to take. Then obviously there's going to be a school tram that comes back this way. And then reconnect there. Then let's have one go the opposite direction. Like along here and feed in through here. And then one day we might build up this area. Let's finish this off. It's very mishmash of roads, isn't there? In the city. Oh, you see it's a death wave. We're almost there for 18 though, so that's good. We are losing money quite rapidly, I will admit that. Boom, 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 boom. That's all good. Lovely stuff. We can have it come along and serve this area. There we go. Perfect. This is going to be a very busy little stretch. Now, let's have have it come down here so they, these people get a bit of public transport. Should be good. Yeah, let's get really near this park area just so more of that land is covered. This is where it's going to start weaving in and out of these areas. You see how it's making everyone happier? It's now boosted our demand for population, which is good. Now we need to find a way for it to turn around. I would say this little section. Mm. Yeah, this little section. If we flick that road over, we can come back later and neaten these roads up if we're not using them. Or if we find that a particular road uh, needs to be converted. There we go. We're going to jostle those ones and then just bring it back. Very, very intertwined system here. Oh. 
Oh, no, there we go. It's all plumbed in. Cool. There's now a huge bit. Look, our population is now back up. We should start going back into the red, hopefully, in a few years once our population has recovered and they've been a bit more educated than... It is kind of weird. I can live with it, though, for now. Let's build our tram only road around here. Oh, wait, it's tram and bike parts, isn't it? Hold on. And then this will deliver drunk students all about the place to a game, to wherever. And let's actually have that sectioned off as a tram stop up here, actually, just in case there's a baseball game on. And people want to use that stop. Still no tram line with trees on a single road. That's quite weird. Okay, so now the university link. And we've done it again, haven't we? We've forgotten to make this. Hold on, where, 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 where are we going? Yeah, so boom, 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 and back on itself. When the campus area expands, we shall also make the tram area expand a bit. But look at that, the population is coming back to its former strength. The money is not, so that's quite worrying. Like, oh yeah, we can, we can definitely cut back on medical expenses. Let's cut back on a medical. Just a tad. Like, it looks like our death wave is now over. The financial system in this uh, in this country is not wavered at all. It's it's just been a remarkable pillar of strength, and just you know, it's just untouched by anything that happens, which I love. It's brilliant. It just shows great stability. And what's our main problem? Not enough goods to sell. Wonderful. But that will increase once our population comes back to sixty thousand. I think we got it. And then we'll just have to build a few more homes in the next one, which is all good. Okay, now what about buses? We've plumbed in a few trams. Also, we've got to decide what we're going to do with this metro line. But right here, right now, we need to plumb in a bus line that serves this part of the community. So let's go ahead, put in our bus line over here. And, you know, it's going to get all in the cracks. Like, this is all in the cracks there. This is going to get in all the cracks over here and fill this area out a little bit more. Okay, so let's go. Let's do that. And the idea of this bus line is just to bring people towards a tram line. Actually, we could set up a big old tram line going around in a big old circle, which would be quite cool. And then let's have it swing around, connect to these bits. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, I just noticed a problem. Um, yeah, we missed like an entire road out, hold on. Let's redo that. Bosh, bosh. And this is just gonna come up and grab these people. Come down here. It's just going to move them closer to getting the tram line. It's going to swing in here, turn around, and it's going to come back on itself. If we can make it do that nice and peacefully. Actually, let's get a bit of cross line going on. Like, you know, people like using different lines and stuff. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, in between, and there we go, perfect. See, so our demand for housing is now curved off, which is wonderful, love that. So now let's have a look at what we're going to be doing down here. Okay, so we want another, like, a floss line, and let's start on this side so it can, like, catch people so they can cross over. Let's bring it down. Just remember, this bus line can go wherever the trams cannot. So it's really handy to have your bus line plumbed in the most efficient that kind of crosses over like this and feeds up. Actually, we're going to come around. 
yeah, let's cross over this bit. Let's grab these people and bring them down. Yeah, let's bring these people up. Let's grab these people from over here. And we're going to go the opposite way on this side and then come back down nicely done. So these people can just switch bus if they need to and come across again. OK. You can see what we've done. We made the city a bit more attractive by just adding a few little um, extra bits and bobs. And there we go. Perfect. That's all connected up. And university bus. Let's put a university bus in. Make it stop right outside. Why not? The entrance of a university. And let's have it come up. And stop just in front of the tram. No, just behind. Yeah, just in front of the tram. That looks like a really busy junction. Oh, no, actually, no, we need it to pick up the students. So this way, pick up the students. And then take them on a round trip around the campus, leading up to this part, and we're coming back. And you might think we're gonna end it here, but we're not, so it's gonna stop there. So I just realized it's also gonna to go to the football ground. So, oh, sorry, Amer yeah, America football ground, we've got that right. And that will come back on itself. Pow. And there we go, we've got American school bus in. You can see we went from no demand and, you know, like 10,000 people less. We added a few little bits of public transport and there are tons more people now. So now we're in summary mode and as you can see, I've managed to fix a death wave by an unusual method of bringing in more public transport into the equation. Just a few bus lines and trams just really helps generate the happiness and increases the upgrade status for those buildings of so wanting to attract more people into the city and it had an amazing effect on our city we went from minus 20,000 or something per week and now we're up plus nine or ten grand on a good week so yeah well on the next one we're going to be looking at post offices because we well no one's getting the post in this city it's uh, it's quite quite depressing they we need to bring that in to bump up those taxes and really really generate the revenue so yeah i'll see you guys on the live stream for the post stream post office bye bye and joy be with you all i hope you enjoyed that and remember to like subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode i've still got some seconds why not give me some feedback in the comments below it would be greatly appreciated and bonus you can find me on your favorite social media platform links are in the description below until next time have a lovely day Oh my god, look at this. Post post office, no one is getting any mail. No one. We we need to fix that. Bump up those those numbers. No wonder these people aren't there. That's all they're missing, isn't it? Right, okay. We'll have to sort that one out.